olive groves, farmland, rich for growing food. During the property boom, the speculators bought up these fields and multiplied their cost enormously, boosting the price of housing. But the land speculators thought that they could get rich quick, and many of them did. They turned the fields into vast housing developments. Instead of growing the wheat that's needed, picking the olives, they grew houses. But the purpose of those houses was not to house families at prices they could afford. It was to turn the windfall gains from the land into fortunes which they could stash away in Switzerland, out of the reach of the Spanish tax man. Unfortunately for them, prices grew so high, the global property market went bust, and the dreams of the families that thought that they would own homes that would rise in value disappeared into thin air. This is the consequence of land speculation. Because the tax regime actually rewards speculators and penalizes people who work, the result is that today in Spain, something like 20% of the working population doesn't have work. About 5 million working people jobless. 1 million families have no financial support whatsoever. Children go to school hungry. For what? For the dreams of the land speculators who wanted to get rich quick. This is one of the victims of the property boom bust in Spain. It's a ghost town, literally a town. A landowner chose to build this development of 2,500 apartments in the middle of nowhere, in the Spanish countryside, south of Madrid. But no one lives in any of these apartments, a vast waste of capital when people need homes that they can afford. The, there was no infrastructure here for the schools, the uh, health clinics, uh, all the needs of ordinary families. And yet the speculation boom mania was such that the property owner thought that he could make a fortune by sticking these apartments up in the middle of nowhere. The result now is that the local authority is having to invest vast amounts of money in a neighboring apartment block to provide the social services that are needed. Those social services ought to be made available in the other existing settlements around this area. But because many families are now stranded in the middle of nowhere, the pressure is on the local government to provide the schools and the health clinics and the rest of the social infrastructure that's needed. That's money that is being underused in this location, which means that other people elsewhere are being sold short, are not receiving the services that they need just because the property speculator tried to make a lot of money out of building these apartments in the middle of nowhere. How do we solve this problem of the property boom busts that are destroying jobs and people's dreams? The answer is quite simple. We need to abolish taxes on people's wages and the profits of entrepreneurs. Profits that are got from creating jobs and products that can be sold on the global markets. If we abolish those taxes, how would we pay for the public services? Well, the answer is here. It's very simple. We need to collect the rents of land the urban land and rural land, and all the rents that are generated by, for instance, the electromagnetic spectrum that we use when we turn on our mobile telephones. If we collected those rents, and those rents are community created, we all contribute to the value that we call the rents of land and natural resources. If we collected them, we would have enough money to pay for public services. In that event, we could get rid of the taxes that destroy people's jobs and crush the dreams of families who are now living homeless and children going to school without food in their bellies.